For you, what is the shape of the Earth? The Earth is round. 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 That's what I've learned until today. That's what we learned from childhood. Because my teachers taught me. I learned on school. We see on books what I learn. Because of the images I see. Most of books show this way. It's what we learned since childhood. From here, we don't have a proportion. We know what we study in school. We learned at school. But why have we learned from childhood that the Earth is round? For science. The sphericity of the Earth is explained from the following evidences. First are the ships which disappear on the horizon. We go out to research. We went to do experiments, to do tests, and they pointed just to the opposite. We also developed a new law of physics that proves, with no doubt, in an undeniable way, physically and mathematically, the planicity of the waters. The second evidence is the projection of the Earth's shadow on the Moon during a lunar eclipse. It's a very weak argument to prove the sphericity of the planet. Since the Earth's shadow on the Moon could be projected by several geometric forms, not necessarily a sphere. The third evidence is the curvature of the horizon observed at high altitudes. During our intense research phase, we designed, built in, and launched many atmospheric probes. The most recent, equipped with iridium tracking, high definition cameras, gravitational lenses, and infrared and ultraviolet filters. According to the analysis of the results we have collected with these probes, we were able to determine that the horizon curvature, visible at high altitudes, occurs by effects of its own atmosphere and not the shape of the planet. The fourth evidence is the possibility of circumnavigation. It would be plausible the circumnavigation in a spherical Earth, but this doesn't prove that the Earth is round. Circumnavigation works on any geographical model. The fifth evidence is the trajectory of the constellations. This does not prove the Earth's sphericity. We started an intense research seven years ago. We went on all continents, in many countries. We have collected accurate data, mostly about the star's movement. We have identified that their trajectory is different from what science says. The interesting thing is, when we analyze the information, we're able to define a new positioning of the continents and, consequently, a geographic model different than the globe we know. The sixth evidence are the photos of the Earth taken from space. We studied practically all photos published by the space agencies. According with their own reports, all images were generated through satellite data processing. So there's no real photo of the planet Earth taken from space. What makes this argument? Totally refutable. The seventh evidence is the experiment of sticks performed by Eratosthenes. Here's a uh, map of ancient Egypt. I've inserted two sticks or obelisks, one up here in Alexandria and one down here in Syene. Now, if at a certain moment each stick casts no shadow, no shadow at all, that's perfectly easy to understand, provided the Earth is flat. If the shadow at Syene is at a certain length, and the shadow at Alexandria is the same length, that also makes sense on a flat Earth. But how could it be, Eratosthenes asked, that at the same instant there was no shadow at Syene and a very substantial shadow at Alexandria? The only answer was that the surface of the Earth is curved. The Eratosthenes experiment was very good for the epoch, but he should have considered the difference of time zones due to the large distance between the points, like other factors, for example, the elevation from sea level. 
In conclusion, it can be a proof of the continent's convexity, but not necessarily an evidence of Earth's sphericity. Academic science has assured for almost 3,000 years that the Earth is spherical. Other lines of research suggest that it may have a different form. For this reason, Docula researchers have been looking for the truth about it for seven years. In March of 2018, they'll present the results of their research with scientific and definitive proofs of the real shape of the Earth. And for you, what is the shape of the Earth? In March of 2018, Convex Earth, the documentary.